Hey guys, I'm back making a lot of videos lately. Um, I feel like when things are not great, it does actually help me to make videos. So this is, I guess, some sort of therapy for me. So thank you for being with me. Um, shout out to AL and Jenny Jinx. Thank you for the sweet supportive comments. It is really always cool to know that... Um, I am not just talking to myself. I know there's like max 20 people, real people that are um, even interested in this stuff. So I have no idea how I came across this. I really don't know how this stuff comes up, but this is basically a perfect full circle video on everything that I've been talking about lately, including dogs. So wait for it. It's coming. I'm going to bring everything full circle. So this is a metal band called The Devil's Blood, and these are just some of their lyrics. Um, they're out of, or the lead singer off himself, so they're not together anymore, but his sister sings for the band now or something, and anyways, they're Dutch. They're from the Netherlands, which is always interesting that all these, like, metal bands come out of... Um, that area and it just seems uh, interesting from what I know about the tribe of Dan and all that so um this these lyrics is pretty much just proving everything Bill's been saying and I've been saying and a couple other people have been sharing about um the fact that the devil is a female and we call it it mother and they call it mother too so here's a lyric to this song called she she so loves her children okay so who are her children all of these demons running around she so loves her children more the one whom play with fire as they comfort themselves before as they I think the person made a typo. It's probably as they comfort themselves before, as they may become her funeral. I'm sure they didn't mean to say Brian. I don't know, maybe brain. But anyways, here's the lyrics. That's the clincher. She is the only one. The only one. She is the only one. And she wears a crown of joyous madness. Okay, yeah, she's insane. Mother is running this place. She's insane. She's God and the devil. Um, she also makes her children go insane as well. So he's talking about mother. She so loves her children. She is the only one. Mother doesn't want there to be any other woman in your life. <laughs> And then it says, she delights in your confusion and the contradiction of your heart. She laughs. She's the laughing God. As reason and delusion proceed to tear your soul apart. So that doesn't sound great, you guys. I really wouldn't want to be on team mother. This doesn't sound like she treats her children very well. Um... She's laughing and delighting in your confusion and the contradictions in your heart. She's laughing and delighting in your misery. And she's the only one. She's the only one. The devil's blood. She is the devil. Mother is the devil. And these are her children singing love songs to her because it's an incestuous relationship. That's why... Um, the chosen ones, when they pray, they thrust their hips back and forth because they're simulating having sex with Shekinah, who is mother. And so she has, quote unquote, love affairs, sexual relationship with her children. And you see that in the movie, Bo is Afraid. Bo's mother sexually abuses him because all of this incestuous pedophilia stuff, it all comes from mother who is the devil and also who we know as god 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 
who we're told is God is actually her as well. Just another aspect of her. And I'll prove it out to you once again. So another um, one of their songs called Cruel Lover. Again, talking about mother, the devil. Cruel lover, I lay me down again in your arms. Undress me and possess me with your tongues of fire. Remember that's in the book of Acts where it says tongues of fire came over them. I never felt comfortable with that. And a lot of Christians just go crazy about that. And it's this whole like Pentecostal movement, which is just the Kundalini spirit. And I'll prove that to you in a second. That's mother with your um, blah, blah, blah. I plunge my knife into you at all hell's behest. Cruel mother, dig your nails into my back. Again, it's like a sexual thing. Grant my furtive soul a place in your design. This is her world. This is her matrix. The universe, the world, the matrix is her design. I am a shadow moving with shadows. Okay, shadow is just another word for jinn, for demon, whatever. He's just a demon. Um, I am Isaiah's nightmare brought into flesh now. And once again, the whole reincarnation thing. I am the sword and the whip. Okay, he's saying he's a demon and mother uses her children to punish people, to hurt people, to maim people. That's why he's saying, I'm the sword and the whip. I do all these violent things for you at your behest. Here's where it gets interesting. So he's saying, cruel mother, and then a few verses down, cruel father, because she's also the God, the father God of the Old Testament. He says, I've climbed the ivory spire for you. I've seen your blade-like arms rake the stars from the sky, tearing through the kingdom like so much kindling and straw, casting down all order into the gape of salvation's maw. Okay, the ivory spire, I think he's talking about Kundalini going up the spine, the white spire is like a staircase um and ivory is also white color but it's also like I think an elephant tusk which is probably made from the same material as bone so this is probably talking about climbing Jacob's ladder which is the spine which is the kundalini awakening and so you can see all this crazy stuff that the average person can't see so when he's talking about blade-like arms tearing through the kingdom, raking the stars from the sky. That's Saturn. Saturn, 100%. Mother is associated with Saturn. It's the same system. Uh, the good guy and the bad guy creates and destroys. Um, so he says the same chorus again. And then, come rending and tearing, speak to me in voracious lust. Crush my will. And awake the snake at my spine. This is what I've been telling you guys. This is proof right here from this metal band. Just look into metal bands. They all know what's up for some reason. They all know what's up. Crush my will and awake the snake at my spine. That is the kundalini awakening. When it goes from the base of your spine, the serpent, coiled serpent energy shoots up your spine, explodes in your head, you have an electrical explosion in your head, an arc that connects your left and your right brain. It opens your quote unquote third eye and now you're hooked into mother. Now your will is gone. It's not your will. You're now hooked into mother. Right here, everything I've been saying is proved out by this one band. And when the horrors of the night proclaim your name, I will know you then and there, and I will go insane. Kundalini awakening, being hooked into mother literally makes you go insane. All of the mother's boys, everyone hooked into mommy is schizophrenic. They're totally schizophrenic and they go insane. And there's a lot of Christians that have this Kundalini spirit from Pentecostal churches and stuff where they can touch you. That's why you got to be careful. Don't let people touch you. In those churches, they pass the kundalini spirit in their weird 
seances from one person to another just by touching them. So, you know, this is all what I've been saying. And now I found, just randomly found this Dutch metal band that literally proves what I've been saying. And so in this song, he says, I am Isaiah's nightmare. I don't know exactly what that means, but obviously in Isaiah, Yahweh says, I form the light and create the darkness. I bring prosperity and create disaster. I do all of these things. Okay. So Yahweh makes bad things. He creates, he makes well-being and creates calamity. Like, what is that? (laughs) I thought God was supposed to be all good. Jesus doesn't create calamity. Jesus doesn't create bad things and disasters. How does this, if you're a Christian, you have to ask yourself, how does this line up with Jesus? Jesus said, if you know me, you know the Father. Well, I've never seen Jesus creating calamity. All he did was heal people and tell people the truth because he wanted to help people. So, you know, why is it that these guys in metal bands know more than the average Christian who's been going to church every Sunday for 30 years. You know, we got to just wake up people. And here's a Dutch, I think it's a Dutch, um, thrash metal band, Black Anvil. Look at this, look at this poster. It's right here. What I've been telling you guys is right here. That's Mother. And what is she in the form of here? Callie with her tongue sticking out and the skulls on her head. This is mother in the form of the Hindu goddess Kali. So this is the origin of that hand sign. It's all, it's mother. It's not rock and roll. <laughs> I mean, it is because she's obviously behind all of that. It's both. But, and then you've got her third eye real big. That also looks like a vagina. It's all related because it's back to mother. And then what do they have here? Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. That's a sacrificial lamb being bled out. And mother is just slurping it up. She's getting the blood. She's the alpha, the omega. (laughs) Beginning and the end. Because it's all about cycles. She starts the cycles and she ends the cycle. She's the machine. This whole matrix, this whole world, this whole universe is cyclical. It just goes in cycles because it's a machine. So right now we're in the Kali Yuga. After that, there's the supposed golden age, but it's all the same shit. It's all cycles coming from the machine. She is the God of the Old Testament who demands sacrifices. She's the all the gods from the past and present. And who knows how many iterations she's done and presented herself in different ways but all these sweet christians actually believe that the true father told um the patriarchs to go and sacrifice all these animals and that's how jesus is connected because he's a sacrificial lamb well okay see (laughs) That's a whole other story that I've talked about a lot, which is not the topic of this video. You can go watch my other stuff. But this metal band poster right here proves everything Bill's been saying, everything I've been saying. This is Kali. This is Mother. That's why they have her under the three-sided triangle, because it's like the Trinity. She's always likes to be represented in the Trinity. And Alpha Omega, that's why I don't really know what to do with the book of Revelation, because Jesus is supposedly saying he's the Alpha and Omega in the book of Revelation. But he wouldn't say that, because that means the beginning and the end. That's talking about time. That's talking about cycles. That's Saturn or Satan. Saturn is the time lord. So why would Jesus say he's the Alpha and Omega? That doesn't make sense to me. Maybe... You know, that's something we need to explore more. But anyway, so 
again, the band, the Devil's Blood, this is their um, logo, which we just saw here. The Alpha and the Omega, this is a different version of their logo. And here's um, the sigil for Saturn at the bottom. Alpha, Omega, Saturn, 666. The mark of the beast is a, when you look it up, it means like a brand, like a maker's mark. Like, you know, that whiskey maker's mark, everybody should know that phrase. Like cattle is branded with the mark of the owner. 666, the mark of the beast is the maker's mark. It's the whole, it's the whole world. It's the whole universe. It's the whole physical uh, world that we're in. Belongs to the beast. Belongs, it's the mark of the beast. Not, you know, a specific uh, event. Uh, however, obviously what's been happening with COVID is going to lock you into the beast, into mother for all eternity. And that's the second death, but that's a different topic. But I'm saying, why is, why are these, uh, metal bands talking about all this stuff? Why do they know all this stuff? How do they know all this stuff? Um, and I would just like to also show you a couple other things that I thought was um, ah, chef's kiss couldn't be any better from to pull everything together. So here's an interview with him. And I'm not going to read this whole thing. You can just Google him. His name is um, the guy from the Devil's Blood Band. His name is Salem Lamucci which is an Arabic name. I looked it up. It says it's Arabic. Um, I don't know why he is in the Netherlands. Um, but regardless, his name is Salem Lemucci. Google him if you would like to look at this. But basically, they're just talking about how he's an open Satanist and he does, the band does um, rituals on the stage and the other bands that they perform with they all do rituals and you can see his sister who's now the front man of the band there's pictures of her doing rituals on um on google if you just google it so i mean these people are like actually practicing satanists which is funny because it's like well if you're some sort of matrix hacker satanist like why'd you off yourself Obviously, that's a bunch of bullshit and you bought into a lie. Otherwise, you wouldn't have killed yourself because you should be able to manifest anything you want, right? Can't you just do some um, uh, call upon some demons and they can grant all of your wishes? Well, apparently not because he killed himself. So, <laughs> you know, this is what happens when you join mother's team. She will destroy you. She hates you. She doesn't love her children. What's that? There's that saying, the devil eats, eats his own. So, I mean, why did he kill himself if he's some sort of hooked in Satanist? He should be living the high life, right? Well, I guess that's a bunch of bullshit. So when you look up him, Google pictures of this lead singer, there's another very interesting thing you'll find. Oh, oh. That article I just showed you, he says he's a Satanist, practicing Satanist. And look at what dog he owns. Salem Lamucci and his dog, Diesel. Well, isn't that interesting, you guys? Look at this. Isn't this nice? Don't you love how the Matrix kind of puts everything into a nice, neat package for you? So he's in the Netherlands where pit bulls and bully breeds were banned uh, back in like 93 or something because all these kids were getting killed and then recently they undid the ban because of um, you know mother's influence on people and getting people to uh, lobby to um, get rid of bans so um, the Netherlands removed the breed specific legislation banning these dogs bunch of people brought them into their homes and now they're trying to ban them again because there's been so many murders, so many vicious, brutal attacks. Just Google Pitbull ban Netherlands. You'll see. Now they're trying to reinstate the ban 
that they already repealed in just a matter of a handful of years because it's so bad. So here we have an open Satanist practicing Satanist who just happens to have a pit bull. And you've got all these like middle class Christians going out adopting pit bulls because they're being manipulated by literal Satanists like I've already showed you. I've already showed you about, I'll show it again, just in case you've never seen my videos before. Like, I can just, actually, I'm not going to even show you. Just go look at my Pitbull documentary. There is a group called The Process Church, which was a satanic cult in the 70s. They changed their name and became Best Friends Animal Society, which is the premier Pitbull and animal rights lobbying organization. Now, explain, ask yourself, why would a group of Satanists, a satanic cult, why would they change their name and become animal activists and pit bull activists with the goal of getting pit bulls as um, the family-friendly dog that you just never knew about, that just has a bad rap, and you guys just need to stop being a dog racist. So, <laughs> you think this is, is this just amazing or what? Open Satanist has just happens to have a pit bull. I love it. And here he is with his dog, Selim, with his dog, a disgusting beast. Why does why do Satanists love these dogs so much? Isn't that interesting? It's just so interesting. I don't know. We'll never know, I guess. Um, obviously, I'm being sarcastic. I've already made it abundantly clear that these dogs are murder machines that feed mother and all the people who are pit bull activists they all work for mother all the local governments and police and everybody that doesn't do anything about the problem that knows they're murdering people and children left and right they all work for mother this all goes back to the same thing and i've just tied everything together for you in one video so if you can't see the truth that's right in front of your face, you just don't want to know the truth. And if you don't want to know the truth, you don't deserve the truth and you're not going to get it. So one last thing I'll leave you with is go look up, I'll put a link in the description, Alien, the Alien movie from 1979, the computer that runs their spaceship is named Mother, and she is evil, and she threw all them under the bus and ended up murdering them all. So I'll put this clip in and just ask yourself, could all this stuff really just be coincidences? Well, I don't know. I think it would be literally impossible. And the when you know this, you just see it everywhere, and you just can't deny it. So, um... One other thing I wanted to share is K um, is actually the reason for this. What they say, like the 666 hand sign. And they say, oh, that means 666 the devil. Well, yes and no, because it actually means the letter K, which stands for Kali and also stands for Cain. Because Cain, you in Hebrew, it's you can do Q, C, or K. They're all interchangeable. So Cain is spelled with a K, also with a C, also with a Q, like I've showed you before using Bible Hub. Go look at my other videos. So this K hand sign that they tell you it's it's a 666, it's a K. Again, it's repping mother and saying their mother's offspring through Cain, who is Samael, who is the quote unquote left hand of God, left hand of mother. She actually has a bloodline, offspring, whatever you want to call it. She has children here. And that's just their gang sign. It's a K. Kali, Kane. Sure, Mark of the Beast, because whatever, she's the beast. Sure, why not? But it's really K. Um, anyways, I uh, hope this helps, and I'll talk to you next time.